Hey, I know it's Turkey Day in Canada, but do you like my goat? Hey guys, Jen here in the Northview Mall Shop. It's Sunday night and it is time to gossip. All right, exciting, exciting week for us here in the shop. Let's get right to it. Now guys, you got to keep up because we've ditched the cue cards and we've gone for printed versions now and even double-sided. So we are moving up in the times. The show is progressing. It is becoming an unstoppable monster and that scares me. So let's get rocking and rolling. All right guys, most of you already know you tuned in yesterday at 2.30 Eastern Time to the International Scale Modelers Show. It's the first time they've done it on a Saturday and they brought in a very kooky and crazy guest, myself. I was their first guest and it was a ton of fun. I got to log in early, I had to meet everybody. We chatted, made sure everything was great. We went live, there were some technical difficulties and Paul couldn't get in and things crashed on him. We were able to keep everything together, got the show going did a great little setup and we did almost a 60 minute interview. It was a blast guys. We had so much fun. So thanks for everybody who showed up. I think they said their chat was the biggest it's ever been and their view count for the video is just beyond what they've ever done. So really excited. Guys, the show runs usually every Friday at 2.30 Eastern time. Uh, that puts it like eight o'clock in the UK, right? They found Problem was, they're not really reaching to that market in the uh, the stateside North America, the other side of the pond. So what they're doing is a little special thing: is every Saturday, the first Saturday of each month, they're going to run, obviously Saturday at 2:30 Eastern Time, and they're going to have special guests to do what they did with us, special interviews and chat stuff. Guys, this is really, really fun, really great to get in onto. They do random giveaways as well every Friday and the special show they've got some really really cool donations that they give away can't go wrong guys you watch the watch the show and you could win something it's a great time so international scale modelers guys go to check them out obviously as usual in the below here we're gonna have the links the links should be in order as we discuss them so moving on from there guys last week sometime we posted in every Facebook page that we go to a quick blurb of what we do, how we do it. Some of the guys like over at the Styron Syndicate, uh, Red Dragon Model Works, uh, uh, Scale Model Kit Review, a lot of those pages were like, dude, you, you already got the go ahead, go ahead and do it. What we were doing was just making sure that everybody on these pages knows what we're about, knows we're not spamming their page or trying to sell stuff. We're generally genuine passion of both the hobby and we're trying to spread the great word of a great page and great builders. Got this with a lot of mixed reviews now. Um, obviously, like I said, some of those great pages, some of our biggest supporters is Guild, One Dragon over at Styro Syndicate, Red Dragon Model Works, Steve Sutton. These guys are huge supporters and give us all the rope in the world to do what we need to do to, uh, to help spread the word. And rightfully so, these guys are really great. Um, moving into those, but the car pages, really were all gun ho It was like, yeah, okay, cool, man. Love it, love it, love it. The plane groups, not so much. I got some quite hostile re reports and uh, and feedback and private messages. So to eliminate any crap, stuff like that, we just left the page completely just so we don't get into a situation where we post something they don't like or we see a really catchy eye view of a, a really a, a, a photo that really catches our eye. We share it as we're going to do tonight. We're going to share it near the end of the video of guys who've gone above and beyond and built some really stellar things. Some of these guys don't like that happening, so we just got into it. Um, uh, armor guys really were like, yeah, cool, right on. Sounds great. So, really great. What we're probably going to end up doing is we've already got this in the works. We're in the, the beta version, if you will, the testing version. Um, we're going to put up our own little Facebook page, the Northview Model Shop Facebook page, and we're going to invite everybody with builds just to come and chat models or post your builds if you want to submit them to the Sunday Night Gossip Show and for the chance to get there. That way there's no complaining, there's no stealing my things and blah 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 blah. Anywho, that's where we're at with that. So guys, anyone was wondering, that's why we did it. Let's move on to some more interesting stuff. Um, speaking of which, we're going to try to keep this going every week as well. Uh, Facebook Model Group of the Week is the Plastic Scale Model Builders. We posted that little comment, like we said, and they jumped on that. They were more than super excited to know 
what we were about. Please post a link to your channel. Please post your videos. We love to see your stuff. Couldn't believe I was there. Loved it that I picked some of their stuff in the past to be in the Sunday Night Gossip. So you know what? That made us feel awesome. These were genuine, awesome people who really love the hobby and just want to share, share, and share some more. Um, really cool group they got over there. They do wacky and crazy themes every day um, just to keep things lively. Mopar Monday. Doesn't matter if you posted it on Friday, you just finished. Post again on Monday because it's a Mopar. Um, Wheelie Wednesday. Two-Tone Tuesday. Um, just really great stuff. So guys, comments below. Pop over to the Plastic Scale Model Builders. Like and uh, join their page because guys, there's some great people over there and it's really fun. So thumbs up to a great page over there. The monitors and the admins have done a great job keeping it good. Um, some greasy gossip. I hear through the grapevine that the 1930 Revell Model A Coupe mold has been damaged and will delay further production for another year. Apparently, there's two conflicting stories I'm hearing. One is really crazy. I don't know about this one, but uh, apparently in China they were going to move the production to another facility and some of the employees being spiteful damaged the mold for whatever reason, I guess to get back revenge. The other one I heard was the mold was damaged during normal production and now needs to be sent back for, uh, for retooling and, and um, repairs. Either way, the rumors are this could be delayed, uh, delayed further production up for a year. If anybody out there has any more hard concrete evidence or reports of this and can confirm the story, let us know right away. I haven't got mine yet. It makes me kind of nervous because I always wanted one, but... Uh, and our theme for our, the, the Burke Galley Scale Model Show next year is... 1929 through 32 Ford Rat Rods. So, anyway, if there's more out there, we can have fun with those. Um, moving on over to the half fast King of the Hill. They've got another contest going to run next week. Uh, this is kind of going along with the big contest, which, guys, don't forget, is still running. Get over there, join, post. I love the idea of this. It's post, this month is post a video of your build. Last month was post pictures of your build. Um, it's voted by you and me as uh, as participants in the model show. We get votes and we can vote as we please. There's not judged by a judging panel. It's pretty uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you got a lot of friends, you're probably going to win. But if you don't, yeah, there's always controversy and there's always kind of nitpicking. But this one to me seems the most fair. I like this one, so I'm kind of pushing it. But uh, anyway, they're doing another contest that's going to go alongside this, and it's post your best modeling tips or tricks. Um, the goal here is to, I guess, build a uh, build a repertoire, a collection of tips and tricks that you can kind of rely on as the years go on. So, great idea. I love that one. Um, Styrene Syndicate. Next month, obviously, we've talked about this before, but let's push this again because it's a really cool theme. Next month, uh, it'll be November 1st through January 1st, they're doing their Hollywood vehicle group build. So, any vehicle that you've ever seen in a movie or TV show is eligible. Uh, Gil over at the Styron Syndicate Red Dragon Model Works uh, confirmed this evening that he will be posting some videos here very soon on that topic and uh, to keep your eyes peeled and your ears open and uh, watch your Facebook for the notifications or YouTube for those notifications to check out more information. Looks like they're putting up some prizes and stuff again so that is going to be really cool. Remember guys, don't start those builds till November 1st until you have all the information. Moving on to even funner and nicer things. Hunter Selby over at Showtime Studios, I just seen this afternoon, has put up four videos at this point for Gary Ruby. He's going to be doing some auction. He's auctioning off some kits to give the proceeds to Gary Ruby to help him through uh, some health medical issues. Uh, super cool. We love Hunter. We don't see him very much anymore on YouTube, but then he pops in with this. So, guys, check the link below. Check the link below. Get over to his page as soon as you possibly can. Watch those videos. See what it's all about. Get the details. If it's something that's going to turn your crank, get in on it, please. We really ask that you do that. It's nice to see that people are trying to help out their other modelers. Dr. Cranky has gotten into the production of assault weapons. Um, this is breaking news straight out of Florida. Uh, apparently, um, he's going to, uh, I don't know, do something crazy with it. Uh, no, he uh, looks like he's done a commission build for... Uh, a friend of his, and it's a large-scale Nerf gun. It's a really big friggin' assault rifle. Um, it's really cool because he's added a bunch of parts to it, so it's not just the stock piece. It looks, it looks like something that they would, uh, they would take into some crazy battle. But uh, 
he needs to work on the um, the belt feed system because it was like -da 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 -da. <laughs> it kind of farted out at the end there DC you might want to have a look at that before you send her off to the the new owner um, also guys dr. cranky as usual in October is doing his tribute to big boss Jim um, this year is a little different uh, more details to come but there will be some prizes and giveaways so super 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 cool the stash project is back up and running looks like he's got his whole new rig set up uh, and he's running power director 15 uh, he's posted me a few Instagram pictures and some some inside tricks to his new system looks pretty impressive the upload time looked pretty good because he just uploaded an hour-long video and uh, the load time was only about an hour to render the video and then loading YouTube was another question but um, doing great. Uh, we run PowerDirector 12 here, but our system is outdated, so it takes a very long time to load. That's why we use our iPad to upload during the week. Sunday Night Gossip, we usually let run because uh, we can do these cool effects like this one. Oh, 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 oh. ah, damn it. Hot. <sighs> Jeez. That was smart, wasn't it? Anyway, moving on. The stash report. God, we love that guy. He does some fun stuff. His videos are actually quite entertaining. For me, an hour long, they do hold the attention. Uh, Andy's Hobby Headquarters just built the new Sherman tank from Academy. Uh, as Andy points out in the video, though, it's really just the best parts of all the Sherman tanks Academy's put out with a few new parts, mainly the 50 caliber uh, gun on the top. Um, still, turned out to be a pretty nice build. Uh, he did add uh, a, a resin sandbag piece to the front and to the back. Still looks kind of cool. Uh, we love watching Andy. He's got some cool stuff. He also just finished the King Tiger from Tamkin, and uh, it was a three-part video. Super cool. It turned out really well. I'm not overly impressed with how it uh, comes together. Just for the sake of you, there's a, a lot of your friggin' parts in there are going to be hidden depending on how you build them. Not my company. I'm not a big Tiger fan, but either way, guys, if you are interested in that kit and need a fine place to get it, uh, and you're here in Canada or in stateside or UK, wherever, pop over to see Scott at elmcityhobbies.com. Link should be down here in the bottom. Um, he can hook you up for, well, last week the quote for the price was $86.50. Not a bad friggin' price for a kit of that count. Wayne Osborne um, just did a video on uh, how he does his dioramas. Pretty cool. If there are anything like he does his cars, these dioramas are going to be absolutely Super clean, super accurate. So, uh, guys, shock over, uh, pop over and check out Wayne. He's a great guy. We love watching his stuff. Um, the casual scale modeler has finished his 172 scale ME262. Dude, that thing looks really cool. Great job on that. Keep us posted on your more builds coming through, man. I like watching your stuff. Show Rod Garage has done a video on the new Revell RM Custom Bike. Um, and he does it. It's about 30 minutes long. He does a comparison. Is it worth the money? This guy knows what he's talking about, guys. He owns every one of those kits that Revell ever put out. He can do the comparisons. Hopefully, it meets the. Uh, hopefully, it meets up to his expectations, guys. Run over there and check that one out. The dog truck. The Dodge Truck Month is uh, is well underway and coming through. A lot of people are posting videos from that that I see. Jump over to see the Mopar Modeler for more details on that group build. Dave Parker has finished his '78 van. Man, that thing looks really, really cool. But I'm disappointed it lacked candy. It needs candy, brother. You know what I'm talking about. Um, good thing for Dave. Dave's kind of come back into her and coming up to full speed again. Uh, Dave, keep your builds coming, brother. Keep those posts coming. We love watching your stuff. Um, guys, pop over to Instagram and look up Small Scale Auto Show if you haven't already. They run a weekly contest. You submit your photos. He then turns around and posts those once, one a day or a couple a day. The... Uh, the build with the most likes wins the contest. I don't know if there's prizes involved. I haven't looked that deep into it. But our friend Drew with his uh, Ferrari Enzo wrap uh, was on there. I thought he did awesome. 70 views. You guys, you'll see who won and see what view count they got. But either way, guys, it seems pretty cool. We do enjoy watching his stuff. Steve Sutton posted a super cool video. He actually visited Andy's Hobby Headquarters shop uh, in Arizona. Uh, Glendale, I believe it is. And uh, he does a tour up and down the aisles and talks with Andy. Really, really cool dude. You are so lucky. I would love to go see Andy's shop. Um, and with that comment right there, that wraps up this portion of the show. All right, guys. It's time. It's time for the ever so controversial Facebook groups build that caught our eye. And this week we have some gems. We've got about a page worth so. Let's make this happen. 
Jeff Graham at Model Car Builders. This is a super cool drag car. Uh, the, the stance on this thing is really cool. The copper and the black looks just killer. Dude, super awesome. Uh, gotta step back one second, guys. If I get your name wrong, I'm really, really sorry. I have trouble pronouncing names sometimes, so bear with me. We're doing our best. All right, Juan Diego Diongo at the Scale Armory and Hangar is working on the super cool swordfish. Um, I've seen one of these in one-to-one -one scale, and uh, this is a huge monstrous airplane. I think I remember correctly from the post, he was working on rigging and stuff like that on this day, so hopefully she'll come together. Mike K, his, this is a name that there's no way I can get through, but Mike K over at the Model Car Builders has this amazing uh, old school motor sports car. I used to love watching these race cars back in the day, man. They were just so freaking cool. Um, watching the stash report, I understand if you could all pop over to Studio 27, apparently they do a wild amount of decals for this style of car, these style of cars, so great job. The big Boonski is at it again. Guys, look at this freaking cool rig. Uh, dude, I can't wait to see this thing come full circle and you guys get some posts and some pictures on here. I believe that was over the Styrene Syndicate as well. But um, anyway, dude, I love your stuff. Keep those rigs coming. Uh, John Collette at the Model Car and Truck Builds. This is a super cool 67 Chevelle, orange and white. That just looks beautiful. Great job. Uh, modern T, a model car at Model Car Builders. Uh, this is a really cool drum set. Guys, he tells me this is completely 100% scratch built. And if I remember, this is a build that he put together for, I believe it's his sister for her birthday. So, shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> anyway, uh, Blair Pitchard at Model Car and Truck. Um, look at this amazing small block Chevy, dude. The detail in that is wicked. Uh, the, uh, the rat rod itself is cool, but the motor, man, that is cool. Uh, Steve Paffy at the Panzer page. I love the Panzer page. It's a great page. It has this really cool Panzer too. The, uh, winter camo on this is beautiful. I like it. Um, Neil Raffi, Raffiti at the Scale Armory and Hangar has built this really cool Russian Typhoon class sub. Um, man, just look at the water effect on that. That is cool. All right. This next one is my buddy, Michael Stewart and his Alien from the Alien series movies. Just beyond cool. Uh, I can't wait to see this at the, uh, the Burke Scale Model Show next year. It's going to be cool. Wayne Langell. It's another fella I've seen throughout the model shows in the area. Uh, for part of the Two-Tone Tuesday over at Model Car Builders. Dude, that's cool. Look at the color on that. Super cool. Uh, Scott Perino at Armo of MIG posted this very well done M4. Uh, look at the amazing detail on the tools on the deck of this, if we got the right picture there. Really, really great detail there. Roger Honing, congratulations, brother. You won this week over at the Scale Auto, Small Scale Auto Show. Um, the truck that you guys see in the picture is just freaking cool. That is so awesome. They probably would have won on its own. Throw that diorama there of the garage and the details in that garage are super cool. Congratulations, brother, on the win. If I remember correctly, it won with 377 likes. One of those likes was ours. That was that was really cool. Uh, and last but not least, well, no, I guess there's two. Better not jump the gun here. Uh, Tyrone Price at the Plastic Scale Model Builders posted uh, this picture of this engine bay and the detail work. Guys, that detail is awesome. I've seen quite a bit of Tyrone's stuff over on this page. This guy builds friggin' awesome. This guy is probably one of the better guys I've seen building cars right now. So congratulations to him for making that one. And last but not least, one of our really great friends, Gil Mondragon, posted this breathtaking Imperial Knight. Uh, just absolutely, I can't, there's no even words for that one. That is just amazing. Gil, that is cool. Super, super cool. All right, congratulations to everybody tonight who made it to the Sunday Night Gossip uh, Facebook review of photos that caught our eye. There was many, many more there that were really close, but these were probably the best of the best we saw this week. So guys, keep those posts coming for next week. And with that, I have only one more comment to make for the evening. Well, maybe not, but we'll see. Um, let's, let's line up with what we're doing. Guys, uh, this week we're going to try to complete that Honda. It's been kicking our balls a little bit with the coloring, but we're trying 
Um, we've got another build that we're just uh, we're getting ready to go to paint with, but we're gonna share that one later on in the year, uh, early into next year. We're not gonna post that right now. We don't want to dilute the channel with the same topics all the time, so we'll post that a bit later on. And uh, we should be starting something new very shortly because we've pretty well cleaned up everything I want to get cleaned up. Um, so that's us here at the North View Model Shop. Um, that should be it for that. The last thing we want to bring up is a bit of a serious note. Guys, I guess there's some some ass hurt going on, if you will. There's some, um, some infighting and some complaining about how certain uh, YouTube contests are being judged and how lists are being compiled and all this crazy stuff. Uh, I try to step away from it. Uh, I don't want to really get involved too much, but here I am running my mouth off about it again. These are my opinions and shared by mine and nobody else's. Guys, if you get bested in a top 10, it's probably because the guys above you did a better job. I'm sorry, dude. Some of those builds are super, super cool. Don't get pissed off. Go look at what you where you made your mistakes, where they succeeded and excelled. And the next month, go out there and womp their ass butt good. It's just a hobby, man. It's just a hobby, right? Have fun. Have fun, right? Um, and here's the other thing. If you're that pissed off... Fuck it. Go somewhere else. Go partake in a different show or a different contest. We gave you a link right here to another one over at Instagram. Pop over there. Try that one. Go to a local hobby show for Christ's sakes, right? It's just a hobby, guys. It's just to have fun. If you want to be pissed off, here's a rule of thumb that uh, we discussed one time at a model show. A bunch of us sitting around the table. If you're tonight at the end of this model show, you got screwed. You have all the right in the world to be pissed off. Tomorrow morning, wake up. Forget about it. Move on. Try something different, right? That's the rule of thumb we follow here at the Mall Show. Get pissed off. Stay pissed off for 12 hours. Let it go. Move on. Guys, that's all I got for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up. Hell yeah. If you really like what you're seeing, guys, hit that share button. Tell the world. And uh, if you don't want to miss another one of these Sunday Night Gossip videos, hit that subscribe button right now. It's somewhere up here in the top corner. We'd really appreciate it. All right, guys. We love you. Have a great week.